Stop buying from Temu. Temu is stealing your data and will secretly making you the product. A simple shopping app can steal personal information, use card data, have access to read messages. We're about to uncover some surprising facts, so get ready for a wild ride. Imagine this, you're browsing through your app store, minding your own business, when suddenly you stumble upon Temu. It's like stumbling upon a treasure trove of discounts, everything from gadgets to fashion, all at jaw-dropping prices. Intrigued by the promise of unbeatable deals, you hit that download button faster than you can say, discounts. We've all been there, haven't we? That rush of excitement when you think you've struck gold with a new app, only to find out later that it's too good to be true. I remember one time I fell for a similar app promising massive discounts. Spoiler alert, it didn't end well. But as more and more users flocked to Temu, whispers of concern began to circulate. Questions about its legitimacy and data privacy practices started to surface, leaving many wondering if they'd made a grave mistake by trusting the app with their personal information. Lately, we've been spamming by Temu with ads, ads, and more ads. Almost all content creators promote Temu. In the last days, Temu, he attracts us with very low prices. That's because Temu's strategy is not to make a profit, but to cover the market. It all started with the Super Bowl commercial that amazed the world, how an app no one had heard of paid for an advertisement costing several million dollars. Temu is made by a Chinese company that came to light after the failure of the Pinduoduo application. Pinduoduo, often abbreviated as PDD, is a Chinese e-commerce platform founded by Colin Huang in September 2015. Huang, a former Google engineer, aimed to create a platform that combined social networking with e-commerce, targeting users in lower tier cities and rural areas of China. The platform quickly gained traction by offering deeply discounted products through a group buying model. Pinduoduo incentivized users to invite friends to purchase items together, leveraging the power of social sharing to drive sales. This approach proved highly successful, attracting millions of users in a relatively short period. Pinduoduo's growth was meteoric, fueled by innovative marketing strategies, including gamification and viral promotions. By offering rock-bottom prices and encouraging group purchases, the platform became immensely popular, particularly among price-sensitive consumers. In July 2018, Pinduoduo went public on the NASDAQ stock exchange, raising over $1.6 billion in its initial public offering. IPO. The company's valuation soared, reflecting investor confidence in its disruptive business model and rapid expansion. Despite its rapid rise, Pinduoduo has faced criticism and controversies, including concerns over the sale of counterfeit goods and intellectual property infringement. However, the company has taken steps to address these issues, implementing stricter quality control measures and partnering with legitimate brands. The app was found to contain malware that could bypass users' cell phone security to monitor activities on other apps, check notifications, read private messages, and change settings. The problem is that compared to other applications, Pinduoduo accesses this data without asking the user. Today, Pinduoduo was banned from all app stores and is an unsafe app. Experts in the field say that they never seen anything like this before. It's like super expansive. They had a team of 100 experts working on Pinduoduo malware. But after the app end, they moved to Temu, Employees working at the company worked from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. six days a week. Users have no right to return or guarantee, and complaints are not resolved. Temu is selling things cheap, has a large promotion budget, is either at a loss or makes money from other sources. Temu had stolen card data from some peoples and sell it. The few good reviews that Temu have looked like are fake. Temu have some games on the app that give you free products, but after some time, you will become the product. Other sources say that Temu copies products one-to-one -one from the description, images, to the manufacturer, even if it is not the same. I'm not telling you not to buy from Temu, I'm just recommending you avoid it because of the controversy. Every controversy has a grain of truth. The data from the video are taken from CNN and others' official sources. I am just an informer.